Every single day is full of choices, and it is your choice to do good or evil. It is by your own will that you choose good or evil. No one is forcing you by gunpoint or by a knife to do what is wrong. No one is forcing you by a gunpoint or by a sword to do what is right. It has to come from the goodness of your own heart. A lot of Christians feel that they are entitled to go to heaven. They believe that they are the ones who are predestined for everlasting life, while others out there in the world are going to hell, because God would predestine them to heaven and those other people to hell. They don't think that their works count. They think that God overlooks all their sin because they are the chosen ones, that they can live like hell and go to heaven, where others can live for God and go to hell. This kind of thinking is heresy. God will judge every single one of us according to our works, just like Jesus said. And in the end, it will be you who condemn yourself. Your words and your actions will condemn you. You will know that it was your choices that sent you to hell. Jesus already made the way for us to enter into everlasting life. He made the way for us to be saved. Jesus died. He resurrected. But Jesus will not do your work for you. You have to overcome sin. You have to choose to wake up praising the Lord. You have to choose to daily deny yourself, take up your cross, and enter into everlasting life. If you don't hold Jesus' hand, if you don't receive his Holy Spirit and walk in spirit and in truth, you will by no means enter into the kingdom of life. Are you doing your work? Are you working alongside the Holy Spirit? Are you speaking in your new tongue? Have you been baptized? Are you living holy? Are you preaching from your life the holiness of God? Or are you living by your old nature, the sinful nature? Are you still sinning? Are you causing others to fall into sin? Are you gossiping and lying and lusting? No one will enter into God's perfect kingdom with the old nature. You have to put on your new garments, your wedding clothes. You have to be purged of your old life of sin. Are you doing the work that the Spirit of God has called you to do? Are you walking the straight and narrow path? Or are you walking the broad path to hell, thinking that you're entitled to everlasting life? Evaluate your life and make sure that you're not like the hypocrites who feel entitled to heaven, but in the end will be damned. May the grace of Jesus be with you.